a minimum of five studies by BioNano meant to expedite the penetration of their target markets, which mark, you know, you go, as you know, if you read the due diligence link in the top right corner right now, we have more markets. We have way more markets than what they are saying, right? We have, okay, this section is huge, okay? But we have a minimum of five studies coming in to support some of their target markets and economic benefits of using optical genome map. First one is going to be prenatal, and this is a very important one. The CEO has talked about this before. Uh, they want to test every single baby, every single unborn baby need wants they they bionetal wants every single one of them to get a non-invasive prenatal test just to scan for genetic abnormalities and 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 whatnot. Okay, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a geneticist, but the goal is to replace chromosomal microarray analysis and detect balanced structural variation. And we've already talked about many times, and I'm going to have a whole video on this. And I want the specific stats. Please tell me. Please, somebody tell me if anyone knows this. I doubt it, but I want to know the exact proportions of labs and potential by and and everyone that's in the market of detecting structural variations higher than 500 base pairs. Every single person in the world, I want to know the exact numbers. Pretty much impossible, but I would like to at least know like the aggregate, right? A rough estimation, but no one has that because it's really hard to estimate. I think, at least to my knowledge, no one has that of what. Who, who is still using karyotyping, fluorescence and cyto hybridization? I don't know. If, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. And chromosomal microarray analysis, as opposed to sapphire, because there's no reason why you would. But anyways, that's a little bit off topic. But that is kind of what the what that's not really that off topic, right? Because that's what these four large clinical studies they're all being done to show why sapphire should be replacing them, replacing all of these things, right? And for and for each one, it's a little different, right? And this one, it's all of them. But each single one of these, uh, CMA, CMA. Uh, all of them, all of them, right? So that is the essential nature of how the sales are going to happen. It's uh, the the people choosing between these three methods and Sapphire. And these studies are literally just trying to prove why Sapphire is better. And we already know if you've watched, if you've watched, uh, if you've even read the due diligence, and there's one presentation on, on Bionet's YouTube that shows why there is no, fundamentally, there is no reason why anyone in their right mind would want to use these three. And this, these studies are just going to prove that even more so first one's prenatal second one is the pediatric market and their goal is to replace cma in this one as well so i mean there's not much to say here okay i've already given you my ram my spiel but that's the second one and this is a big market as well and we're going to talk a little bit more about the markets uh in other videos and and today we're going to talk about the prenatal prenatal market and some other stuff as well third one is going to be uh hematological malignancies in leukemia and so let me just do it now here and lymphomas right so i'm going to do it l uh why here for lymphonas right and we actually know this if you look at the transcript of the quarter one 2021 earnings report which we are going to do in one second you know that there's actually five there's not four there's actually five studies cl major, major clinical studies being done here also the last one is going to be solid tumor analysis here so this is going to be a the goal is for the last two it's for all of them right kt fish and cma right so it's basically we we this is really good news. I mean, we already have known this is happening, but this is just this has to get you excited for the future as we have literally four or five studies coming out proving why CMA karyotyping a fish, why zero people should be using them. And I guarantee you many people are still using those three things when they could be using sapphire, which these four studies are going to make it more likely that they are going to switch over, uh, resulting in revenue, resulting in a beat of revenue, resulting in a more sales, more sapphire adoption. Stop price go up, stop price go boom, boom. Uh, portfolio goes burrs for bionanians, right? I mean, this is kind of the ape language of this, but it's it, it's very important to know that we're not just. You know, it's very important to know that bionano is not just going to stop uh, showing sapphires worth because there are going to be people that are going to be stubborn and want to stay with karyotyping and stay with the old method because they know it and, and write the new method off, right? And as as there's more studies coming out like this, it's just going to be more and more adoption. And the domino effect, the flywheel effect, learning curve, you know. It's very hard to make a case that's coherent to say that the Sapphire adoption and sales are not going to increase, especially when you consider the PR team. And, and not even that. If you just consider the, the specs, not even the, well, yeah, the specs and the practicality and efficiency of the Sapphire over these three other methods, it's a no-brainer. This is from the earnings transcript here, and this is actually really cool. So this is Kevin the Cheater asking a question. Uh, he's saying... Uh, I think you called out 1,000 patients uh, as kind of t a target data size, data set size, right? Is that, you know, per site or collectively? Um, well, and then he says that represents, uh, five, so there's going to be fundamentally five studies, right? Four pillars, uh, prenatal, postnatal. So one, two, three, 
four, and that's only four, right? But we said before, I said there was five, and yes, there is. But the hematological malignancies have the leukemia arm and the lymphoma arm, right? So that's your five. And our plan is to have 1,000 patients in each of those five areas spread across uh, multiple sites that are participating. As Alka, the, the chief medical officer, said, at least three per site per pill. So what this means, essentially, that I'm taking, I, I'm at least taking from it, is that there are going to be, these are, you know, obviously they call it out here four large clinical studies. And as you guys know, if you're in the science world at all, or if you just have a brain, you can figure out that the more, the higher your sample size is going to be, the more patients you have, the more trials you run, the more accurate it's going to be. And their plan is to have 1,000 patients in each of those five areas, right? at least three per site per pillar. So it's going to be, it's not like we're doing, oh yeah, we're going to have a couple studies coming out. No, they're literally, they're going to be spending a lot of money. They're going to be doing a lot, a lot of effort and manpower going into these four large clinical studies coming out this year and actually five, right? So this is, it is, it is going to be big and, are, and they are five catalysts to look forward to because in any of these that we, we could find anything. Okay. Oh, BioNano uh, discovers um, chemotherapeutic drug enhancements uh, through whatever it is, right? I mean, we're not necessarily going to see that in this time because it's not really cancer, but any sort of drug enhancement or, or mitigation for risk. And okay, there's, there's a ton of stuff that could be found in these studies that we're not even talking about. Right. And of course with structure variation, there's no, there's no doubt that, you know, the more, the more studies we get, the more people that see it, the more people that realize that uh, their old methods of KT fish and CMA, they are there. There's no reason to be grasping on, clutching onto the old days, right? Because there's no efficiency there, right? You're just losing money per capita if you're going to be using that. You're, I mean, not even per capita. You're just going to be losing money. Yeah, yes, per capita, but you're going to be losing money if you don't use the sapphire. And there's some other great stuff here relating to what we have been talking about today in regards to the studies, especially the postnatal uh, studies here. And we can go over this in more videos, but uh, this is going to be it for this one. So anyways, uh, let's go to the current positions here. Uh, this is the current positions and the price targets for me. And if we go to Weeble here, let's show off that portfolio. Let's do the current positions right now. All right, let's do this. Actually, let's do the password. And those are all my positions. If we zoom in here, let's get the yellow action going. Here we go. Yes, sir. Those are all the current positions, boys. Buy on in a 1,562 shares. Love it. I love it, man. Long term, may I may, I may suffer short term, long term, long term, we're gonna be rich. <laughs> long term, we're gonna be rich. Man. All right, anyways, this is not financial advice. Thank y'all so much. I will see y'all in the next one.